This guy looks like a cow. The number four. Oh, so cute. Hey, Becca. Gracias por todo, amigo. Chivo. Suerte con Hostal. Suerte. Hostal Casa Luna. Suerte en su viaje. Gracias, hombre. Bye. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Here we go. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Whew. Thank you, Sombrerete. What an awesome place. I'd love to come back someday. Today, we're heading towards Zacatecas. We will not get all the way there. Maybe a town called Fresnillo. Who knows? We'll see. We just rode by this guy and he goes, Animo Hueros! Which is like, let's go white guys! <laughs> Yo. We're starting our morning on a bit of a climb, which is a good thing because it's pretty chilly outside. We are at 7,800 feet above sea level. So the air is cold. Hey John, the birds are wishing us well. They're singing for us, wow. Oh, I'm gonna go over there, that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> Look at them all. That's so cool. <laughs> Good morning, amigos. Where did you find, John? Oh, I found, let's see, how many we got here? We got four, four puppies. Really? Yeah. Just on the side of the road? Yeah, just right by this power. Oh. What's this? We had Jesus, we just drop them off in the box. Oh, guys. Oh, look at that. They're teeny. What are we going to do with you guys? Mira, what do we do? Oh. Mira, you've never been a mom. No. Look at oh. these. They're just tucked right in here. Look at that. Oh, buddy. How are you doing? You okay? This is a bit big. Can you get your little heads in there? Yeah. Let's squish this down. There you go. Come on. Okay, it's water. There you go. Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah. Hi. This one looks like a little border collie. Yeah. Oh, buddy. I know Mira. You're a good girl. Come on, drink up, drink, drink. Hey. Hey. Yeah? That's it. Oh. oh, there you go. Come on, Smarty Pants. Yeah, Get water. in there. There's some water. Get Good in there. Job. Get in there. There you go. You, I know. We're on our way out of town, and I stopped to film the birds. And just past the birds, John noticed some little puppies right here. And uh, they've probably been sitting there all night, I'm guessing. And so John's giving them some water. Poor little guys. What do you think? Yeah, guys. Oh. Hey buddy, aren't you cute? Yeah, you are. Oh. What do we do, John? Oh, I want someone to take them, man. Yeah. Yeah. We could maybe put them in a box, take them to town, see if we can find somebody. Yeah, we can put them in the 
in the bike basket here. All right, guys, you're gonna be bike packing dogs for just a moment. We're gonna take you to town, okay? That's already my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mira, here's another one. <laughs> okay. John, you have five dogs now. Here's number three. Yeah. Look at him, so cute in there. You got to share, Mira, you have to share, yeah. This guy looks like a cow. Yeah. And number four. Oh, so cute. Hey, Rebecca. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mira. So we've got the puppies, four of them. And we're near a rancho. And we asked a couple of people on the road and they said, talk to the, the guys here. So we'll see where this gets us. ¿Y qué debemos de hacer con ellos entonces? No, pues que. Es que aquí ya tenemos muchos. Sí, Mira, sí. Estos son los más chiquillos. Sí. ¿Eh? ¿Y dónde los encontraron? Aquí, aquí nomás, por. Bueno, ¿dónde están los pajaritos allá arriba? Eh. Al lado de la carretera. Eh. Sí. Es que ahí viene gente y los tira. O sea, ah, gente mala. Ah. Eh, nosotros. Hay un lugar donde podemos dejarlos en el centro o algo así. Sí, so the owner of the ranch said they are not his. And he already has enough dogs. So we're just gonna ride into town and find a place for them. Because they would most definitely die if we just leave them on the side of the road. Oh, who's in your basket, Mira? Yeah, the, is it hard to find a place to sit? <laughs> She's like, what in the world is going on here? All right, you gotta share today. Now we're at the local o OXO station, asking these guys what we should do if there's like a shelter for dogs or something. They all think the dogs are cute, but they're all saying, I already have a lot of dogs. This makes me happy. This is a bunch of Mexicans coming together to try to help the cause. This guy called his sister. This guy's calling his friend. They're like, hey, sister, hermana, do you want four little dogs? These white dudes just found them on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, viva Mexico, I love this place. Everybody, everybody's just ready to help, no matter what. I love it. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Paso a tomar una. Si. Si, que bueno. Adios, amigo, suerte con su vida. <laughs> and it just so happens that the guy helping us is a bean salesman. He's got burritos in the back of his motorbike right there. Happy morning coffee. Oh, oh buddy. You know, we find these puppies, you know, they're so cute. We don't want to just leave them on the side of the road to die because that's what would have happened. And I feel better that we found, you know, some people that are willing to help. We've got the burrito guy here. He's called his sister. They know some veterinarians in town. So I think the chances of these puppies finding a home are pretty good. So, yeah, good, good way to start the day. Bueno, Ruben, gracias por todo. Gracias. Muy amable, amigo. Que les vaya muy bien. Gracias. Feliz viaje. Sí. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Operation Puppy Drop is a success. Burritos and puppies and lots of fun conversation. And here we go. Yep. With just one dog. Yeah. I really hope those dogs have a good life. You know, with some loving owners who treat them right. Maybe even take them on some bike packing adventures. That probably won't happen, but I just hope they they do okay. Because their fate was pretty sealed when we found them. They were literally in a ditch. And they're brand new puppies. Their eyes had just opened. So I don't think they would have lasted a whole lot longer. Maybe we gave them a little bit more life. Who knows what their fate is now, but we seem to have left them in good hands.
Hi, John. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing, bud? Good. Good to see you. Hi, Mira. Hi, Mira. Hello, my dear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woo. We're in Mexico. We are. Look at this. It's a good country, eh? It is a good country. Again. <laughs> been lucky with the wind though, it's always blowing the right direction. Yeah. You have any marshmallows? Mm. <laughs> so we stopped here to get some uh, some drinks. What'd you choose here, John? I got a uh, electrolyte drink. Yeah. In two varieties. <laughs> And I'm gonna have another Humex Guayaba. It's nice, we've been charging ever since our slow start this morning. We've put down, I think, over 20 miles and we haven't seen a whole lot. And then this little tienda store popped up on the side of the road. Here we are. Riding the highway today has actually been a lot more pleasant than yesterday and I don't quite know what it is. Maybe we're past the initial shock of it and we've eased in. But I also think the smooth shoulder plays a role. You know, we all love smooth shoulders that aren't like oatmeal and it's been nice and smooth. The wind has been pretty favorable and maybe less traffic, I don't know. But both of us, actually all three of us, Seem to be a little bit more at ease today. Doing a good job today, Mira. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. What'd you get, John? I got some Mexican's finest, jarritos. Bright red jarrito. Yeah. 70 years of flavor <laughs> for everyone. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Mira, do you have a new friend? Old friend. Introduce your friend, Mira. So we found a, a fellow bike packer. How's it going, brother? Hello, yeah, all good, all what, good. What's your name, what's your story? Uh, my name's Greg. Um, I'm from London in the UK and uh, I'm also on a very big biking trip like John. Um, hoping to head south for the next few years. Um, so yeah, enjoying, enjoying Mexico very much. Not so much the paved road. Film break. Perfect example. <laughs> but um, oh, it's just been so beautiful. Yeah. Um, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite part about Mexico? Oh, I mean, there's the three things. It's the, the people, the food, and the landscapes. It's like, it has it all. I can definitely see myself after this trip coming back and wanting to live here. Yeah. Like it, it's got everything. It's pretty special. And what inspired you to hit the road for so long? Uh, I do you know the Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah. So I hiked that in 2018. <laughs> I hiked that in 2018, and that kind of towards the end of that, I just I just fell in love with the lifestyle of living outside every day, and and also moving every day and sleeping in a different place, sleeping under the stars every night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a great interview. Yeah, it's perfect. So um, <laughs> this was kind of my plan to to do something like that, but longer term and see more of the world and get more of a cultural experience as well. So do you have a final destination? Um, I'm not really putting a name on it as uh, as per se, but I'd, I'd love to get down to Argentina, Chile, you know, yeah. all the way down there, but we'll see. I won't be upset if I don't make it down there, but <laughs> the plan is to go as far as I can until the money runs out. 
What did your parents think of this idea? Uh, my mum is terrified, she's constantly terrified still to this day. She doesn't know the state of Zacatecas and what's going on here. So I'm not going to tell her until after I'm through. <laughs> um, and my dad loves it. Were you a cyclist yeah. before this? No, <laughs> this no. is my first cycling trip. My longest cycle before this was like two hours around London. So yeah, it was definitely a bit of an adjustment, but my knees are getting there. All right, we've got ourselves a wolf pack. Greg's coming with us. <laughs> On to the mean highway. We've got a Canadian, an American, and a Brit. Sounds like the start to a good joke. wind has kicked up a bit. It's a side wind, it keeps pushing us into the highway. Not too strong, but you know, wind is just annoying. And it always feels worse when you're on the bike and then when you get off the bike, you're like, oh, it's not so bad, it's kind of nice and it cools you off. Then you jump back on the bike, you're like, ah, oh, this is the worst headwind ever. <laughs> so we are heading toward Fresnillo. At the beginning of the day when we woke up, we thought, okay, we'll get a hotel or something in Fresnillo. But since then, we've been warned by numerous people that Fresnillo is as bad as it gets. There's lots of violence and people are just essentially scaring us away from staying in Fresnillo. So we're gonna try to go through Fresnillo and stay on the other end of it. Maybe camp, hopefully somebody's backyard, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's the reality of what's going on here. You know, we, we do our best, we wake up, we see a map. We say, let's go here, and then the locals say, no, don't go there. And then we usually listen to the locals because obviously they know a lot better than we do. Hi, Mira. Hi, you gonna drag dad over here? Give me a hug. Yeah. Oh, there's my girl. Groomers today. I look pretty. Look at all that mirror hair with a little bit of Mexican road dirt. Yeah, come in. How often do you brush her? Uh, it depends. If, if it was something like this, maybe you know once a month. Yeah. But uh, yeah, sometimes a couple of weeks or so, yeah, sometimes it's daily. You know, it depends really on the time of year and how dirty she's gotten. If we're in a tent, or whatever. So how often do you brush your hair? Clearly not very often. <laughs> There's less and less of it to brush, so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> good girl. And what's that for? Uh, these are some eye drops I got from a vet, and um, just to help moisturize her eye and and uh, keep them healthy. There's a lot of dust and dirt and sun, and she's in the wind all day long. And uh, I don't put the goggles on all the time, so just to keep her eye health up, that's the main thing. Mira, you're such a sweetie. Just preventative care. For that's my right, girl. yeah. All right, so we are in a hotel in Fresnillo on the very outskirts, like an auto hotel, like a car motel type thing. And it's nice and big, and Mira has plenty of room to run around. Look at all this space. We're not downtown, we avoided the madness of the city we took the local advice and we're feeling safe the guy at the front desk seems really cool and he let us in with the dog sometimes they're not as cool with dogs as you would think in mexico you really have to convince them and say that she's world famous you might want her in here it's gonna be good for business but uh you know john and i were talking today about this whole you know the danger the narcos people telling us areas to avoid. And, you know, it's important, of course, when you're on any adventure, 
to tap into local knowledge. They obviously know best. And, um, you know, lo locals and people I've met on every single adventure are the ones who have helped me through all the situations on every single bike adventure in my life. It's always the people I meet who make these adventures safe. You know, I can do my best, you know, but it's, it's there's people out there that I haven't even met that are looking out for me and looking out for us. And we really feel that that is true here in Mexico. People want us to be safe. They want us to, to enjoy their country in a safe way and go back home and tell all of our friends or make YouTube videos. And we love Mexico. You've seen in my videos, all of the, the Mexicans that I've met and interacted with are absolutely wonderful humans. Of course, there's some bad guys. There's bad guys in every single country. There's a lot of narco violence right now. It's heightened for some reason in this area. And uh, it's unfortunate. And, you know, I feel bad for the locals who have to live with this threat of violence every single day. And we appreciate that they're looking out for us. And so does my mom and Amelia. And I just washed my stinky socks and they're gonna dry in the afternoon sun. And I just remembered, I can't believe it, but I hope our dogs are doing okay. <laughs> that was this morning. Sometimes these days are so full that you feel like each day is really two days worth of memories. But yeah, that was early this morning. We found a litter of puppies and I hope they have a home now. Dodging bullets in Fresno, Mexico City of Fear. We're living in hell inside Fresno, Mexico's most terrified city. <laughs> so you're saying it's um there's some bad news about Fresno? <laughs> this is why I don't Google where you are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking to Amelia right now and I told her we're in Fresno and she just Googled it and this is the first thing she sees. <laughs> Ninety six percent of Fresnians say that they live in fear. 96%, that's a pretty high amount. <laughs> that's pretty high, that's pretty high. <laughs> we just walked around and they didn't seem too scared, but maybe we saw the 4% that aren't scared. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna be safe, I promise. I know. We're on the outskirts of town, it's totally safe, and we have Mira to protect us. No one's coming for you anyway. <laughs> It's like you're like a hockey goalie. Ready? <laughs> oh, nothing gets past you. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're the best. Yeah, you are. You've been a good sport riding on these highways for the past two days. Only one more. How are you feeling about things, John? Good. Yeah. Just touched the base with friends back home, and we're going to get tidied up and ready for tomorrow and get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Back on the road. Last day of pavement, I think. Yeah. And then we're uh, yeah, back onto the, what are we, the Trans-Mexico, the northern section. Yeah. yeah. So, and we could go see Z Zacatecas, so that's, that should be a lot of fun. I love Zacatecas. Yeah. yeah. And we're having fun riding together. Right? Yeah, we're having fun. We yeah. can have fun anywhere, but pavement's just not as... <laughs> yeah, it gets old. <laughs> well, it's old because we got these big fat tires and these heavy bikes. I mean, if you're on a road bike, okay, but we're, we're not sort of kitted up for, for no. riding on the asphalt. Yeah, yeah, so it's been a bit of a... Yeah, it's been a bit of a grind, but we found some good food, some good people along the way, and, and we've been comfortable. We've had hotels yeah. the last three I nights. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I have more hotels than I've had on this entire trip in this last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah, but it's been good. Yeah. And we're safe. We're, that is the main thing. Yeah, like it, it's not coming home isn't an option uh, wherever home is, and I want to keep her safe. I want to keep you safe and me safe. So yeah, so yeah, Mama yeah. Doozer is counting on you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got I got this one, Doozer. Mama Doozer, I got this one. He's good. Yeah. He's good. So, All right. Yeah. Good night, buddy. Bye. And good night to you. One last kick. Boom.